What's going on there guys? My name is Josh and today we're going to be talking about an arms finisher. Now the reason this is a finisher and not a full-blown workout is because I really don't recommend that you spend 45 minutes to an hour and a half doing a full-blown arms workout as part of your training split. So it's much better to throw in the arms training on the end of a heavy workout like a back or a chest workout, something like that. So we're going to go straight into it. You need a few bits of kit for this. First of all, we've got a barbell that we're going to be curling. We've got a kettlebell that we're going to be doing tricep extensions with. We've got a heavy set of dumbbells, a medium set of dumbbells with a bench and a light set of dumbbells to finish us off. So there's a fair bit of kit here and it's all going to be done as a circuit. So we're going to go from one to the other with no rest in between everything. Going straight in, we're going to start off with the barbell curl to begin with. So we're going to grab the barbell nice and tightly with your hands just outside hip width so your arms fit nicely down the side of you. We're going to elevate the chest and keep your shoulder blades pinched together. From there, we're going to curl up till we're almost all the way up and then very, very slowly try and count to four on the way down, maintaining the contraction in the biceps. Again, pull up and very, very slowly count it to four down. This is for 10 reps. Once we finish those 10 reps, we're going to lose the bar, grab a hold of our kettlebell here, and we're going to go into a French press or an overhead tricep extension. So we're going to grab it by both handles, whip it behind your head. I always advise having one foot ahead of the other for this one, so you're a little bit more stable. Try and keep your elbows tight to your head and pointed straight upwards. We're going to contract all the way up, and then very, very slowly again, counting to four on the way down. And this is for 12 reps. And that gives us our 12 there. Everything from this point onward is going to be 20 reps. So we're going to go into our heavy dumbbells now. We're going to be doing 20 alternating bicep curls. So it's 10 per arm, all right? Now the rule with this one is we're going to pull one up, control it down, but not as slowly as the last one. And when you finish one rep, then it's time for the next one. So we're going all the way to 20 reps here. Quick point, it's really important that we keep a high chest, keep our shoulders pulled back whenever you're doing any bicep exercise. We're gonna come down to our incline bench now. So we've got this on a low incline. We're gonna grab two dumbbells and we're gonna bring them straight up above your shoulders like so. Pinch your shoulder blades back into the bench, keep your feet flat on the floor and then point your arms slightly behind you and bend at those elbows till you're down either side of your head. Extend up, lock the elbows and slowly back down. Try and avoid coming to this position so you want to keep reaching up back behind you. Again, this is 20 reps of this one, guys.
and that's 20. As soon as we're done with those, we're gonna put those back there and come back to our barbell. So we're gonna go into an overhand close grip curl now, okay? This is for 20 reps again. This is really gonna work the brachioradialis, or the big meaty part of the forearm, as well as the biceps up here. So you're gonna be about thumb lengths apart from each hand, keeping a tight grip, chest is up, shoulder blades are pulled together, curl up, control down, and a full 20 reps. If your forearms aren't burning at the end of this, then a way that we can make it much, much more strenuous on the forearms is to lose the thumbs from the grip, and that's gonna make the forearms work much, much harder. So this is a little bit more of an experienced one, is with a thumbless grip. triceps finisher we're gonna grab our light dumbbells so I've literally just got four kilos here I won't go any heavier than six seven or maybe eight for this we're gonna bring yourself down into a hip hinge position so we've got a very soft bend in the knees and then lock your elbows by sides and all we're gonna do lock the elbows out and slowly back down 20 reps here really burning out and fatiguing these triceps So that's one round through. What I suggest is you do two or maybe even three rounds of this at the end of your workout. Give yourself a couple of minutes rest once you finish those kit backs just there and then go right back to where we started with the curls. Thanks very much for watching guys. I'll be back in the next one soon.